coming up. The first gondola to be unwrapped on the Disney Skyliner gondola system has been uncovered in Walt Disney World, giving us a first look at the design and ventilation on the line itself. My name is Brayden, and this is your breaking Mickey Views News. All who come to this happy place, welcome. Now I'm the king of the swingers. Our largest expansion ever. We're not just building one of these, we're building two. Today was a big day in Walt Disney World for a couple reasons. First, the Flower and Garden Festival got underway over in Epcot with some huge crowds, maybe too many crowds even. Some would argue friend of the show and fellow creator Corey Meets World shared this video with us on the ground at the Mexico Pavilion. The new Coco show started today here in Mexico and look at this. You can't even get through. Just in time for the Flower and Garden Festival, Disney has unveiled a new Coco-themed mariachi show where you've probably seen the mariachi perform outside the Mexico Pavilion in the past. Now, right there, they have a special Coco-themed version of that show, and you can see here created quite a major bottleneck in the area, uh, in an area that's actually already prone to that sort of thing, with so many guests wanting to see the new Coco show. So, very interesting stuff there. On the brighter side with the Flower and Garden Festival today, you've got food, new topiaries, such a cool environment and little extra amenities to enjoy during your trip to Epcot this time of year. And now on to the breaking news at this hour. The first Disney Skyliner gondola on the line has gotten its aptly named Ghost Gondola Wrap removed, where now you can see the completed gondola on the line. We first got word of this at around 4 p.m. today when a viewer of the show sent in this awesome photo where you can clearly see the unwrapped gondola on the line itself. And we broke that first photo online, and then shortly thereafter, Blog Mickey, one of the best Disney news sites out there, the best photos by far, be sure to check them out, posted an article with the first up-close photos of the gondola we had gotten cell phone photos uh, from earlier in the day uh, that we had dropped on our Mickey News Twitter and Instagram accounts where we drop all the latest news. Looking at this gondola, you can notice right off the bat that Disney is not messing around with the ventilation. There will be a lot of air going in and out of that gondola, keeping the air fresh and the guests cool. Let me know what you guys think. The thing I'm more focused on now is the fact that originally when Bob Chapek unveiled the gondola at the Destination D event late last year, I thought that Disney character window wrap was there for the press photos. But as has been documented by Blog Mickey, that same character window decal has been visible under some of the ghost gondola wraps on some of those uh, still yet to be uncovered cars, making you wonder why some of the gondolas appear to have these regular windows like the one that has now been unveiled while others have these decals over them. And why would you have decals over the gondolas in the first place? Honestly, all the concept art we've seen with the gondolas where they actually have characters on the windows, I really thought that that was just, you know, for promotion because, you know, you really can't put pictures of guests inside of those. You know, you want to put the Disney characters. It's kind of a cool thing, you know, to advertise the Skyliner itself. But literally putting the characters on the windows themselves seems like a very interesting move. And in an attempt to answer this question, I have two theories. One is some of the gondola cars having those decals over the window, which are really, you know, they have tiny holes in them to let in sunlight so you can look out. That means that if you have the decal over the window itself, less sunlight will be getting into the cabin, which may make the cabins themselves cooler. So having those window wraps where it actually greatly reduces the amount of sunlight and UV that's coming into the cabin, that might be a way to actually improve uh, the guest experience with the cabin interior being less hot. My other theory is this is a brand new system that will be providing guests never before seen views of the resort around property and when you have those decals over the window, it's very convenient that it makes it impossible for guests to be able to get photos out of the gondola with their conventional phone cameras, which will be the result of having these decals over the windows. When you try to take a picture, all you're going to see is the decal itself and all those little circles. You won't be able to take a picture of what you can see beyond that unless you have a manual focused camera. And I think that that might be something that Disney doesn't see as a negative uh, in the end, uh, where they might still be trying to theme some parts of buildings that are visible from the Skyliner that were never designed to be visible to guests, uh, like uh, the backside of the World Showcase buildings, for instance, uh, where Disney is currently working on Ratatouille to help sort of uh, block the view from the Skyliner of uh, the back of the World Showcase buildings, which aren't themed because they, were, you know, they weren't made for guests to actually look at. And now with this system, guests will be able to see things like that. So Disney is still theming those. So when you have those window decals on the gondolas themselves, it helps reduce you know, a lot of like photos of backstage stuff and things like that. Just a theory there. Let me know your thoughts on the first 
first fully uncovered Disney Skyliner gondola car. That's all for this episode of Mickey Views News. Thank you so much for watching. There will be a Magic Weekly this week. I know I keep saying there's going to be one and there hasn't been. Uh, still trying to get back in the swing of things here, uh, especially with the Magic Weekly uh, since we haven't done one in so long and the new sets and the new formats. I'm a little worried about how it's going to go with the questions, quite honestly, because a big part of the Magic Weekly was the news. And now that we do all these news videos throughout the week, it really makes you uh, wonder uh, what exactly the Magic Weekly will be like if it's just a questions show. Uh, so leave some more questions for me for this week's uh, questions show in the comments below for the Magic Weekly at the end of this week. We also have a Disney earnings call tomorrow uh, where there's rumored to be uh, some sort of big announcement, perhaps an opening date for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in Disneyland, which would be some big news. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Mickey Views News. This is Brayden. Have a magical day.